Hey everybody, it's Joe Delera, and I've got a couple of my favorite bets for NBA All-Star Weekend. Let's start with the slam dunk contest, and I'm gonna lay the juice with Mac McClung. Mac McClung won this last year. He is an absolute dunker. The guy was born to dunk. I know the rest of the field. We got Jalen Brown, who is like the relative superstar in this field compared to Jacob Toppin and rookie Jaime Hawkes Jr. But I do think that no matter what happens here, Mac McClung, we saw what he did last year, rejuvenated the dunk contest. And you know that that's not his whole bag. You know he's got more in there. So when I look at these guys, I know that some of them can maybe be a little bit more explosive due to their athleticism. But what Mac McClung has been able to do with his creativity and his thought process and what he what he practices, what he does for dunking, I love Mac McClung here. I cannot believe they open this at a plus number. I think even at minus 190 or so, it's still a good bet and the best bet for the slam dunk contest. For my next game or my next play, we're looking at the three point contest and I'm going to be looking at Lori Markinen. I like Lori Markinen to not only make the finals at plus 200, I like him to win. Uh, a large reason why I like this is this is not his first year. Last year was his first year. It was in Utah. And I think that was a little bit of a tougher pressure cooker scenario for him uh, having to do it at home. Now he's got one contest under his belt. Uh, and what I did like as well is last year we saw where he put the money ball rack. We know that he put it in the corner and that's a great spot for him. That's a, a spot that Laurie has really thrived from shooting the basketball. When you couple what he actually does on the court, plus the volume, he's been one of the best, if not the best for this type of contest. I know that we have prior winners in Damian Lillard, Carl Anthony Towns, but I think that at this number at the plus 800 to win and plus 200 to make the finals, we're getting pretty significant value on somebody that really has thrived across the board around the three-point line. So I like Laurie Markkinen to make the finals, and I like him to be the winner of the three-point contest. Turning to the actual All-Star game, I like the Western Conference, I like, and I think I'm just going to take them on the money line as opposed to laying a couple points. It's an All-Star game. I don't, I'm not super interested in the spread. Um, but what I like here is that the West has had fewer injury replacements, so I think that that's notable. Additionally, I think that when you look at the top-tier talent in the West, obviously Giannis loves the All-Star game, leader in points per game uh, in the All-Star game. But when we look at the West, it's a nice opportunity for, I think, LeBron and Steph. They love playing together. You get LeBron, Steph, Booker, Durant, like the top tier talent in the West, I think is so, so tremendous. Whereas the East, they have so many injury replacements between Joel Embiid getting hurt, Julius Randle getting hurt, etc. So I do think that the West is the better team here, and I'm going to be taking them straight up in the All-Star game. And of course, you know I have to have two player props for the All-Star game. Right now, the two players that I'm looking at are both Nikola Jokic and Luka Doncic to go under their points props. Jokic is set at eight and a half and Luka is set at 11 and a half. The big thing for me here is for both of them, neither of them have really looked like they make an effort to score in the all-star games that they've played in. Uh, in Jokic's five all-star games, he's only scored 10 points once. He scored six, five, six, 10 and four. And he's never taken more than five field goal attempts. And the only year he went over this, he was two of three from three, which is a little bit uncharacteristic for him. When we look at Luka, he's only scored eight, 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 and four in four All-Star games. And while he gets decent minutes, he just hasn't really looked to score and he doesn't see the free throw line. So I like them both to go under their points props of eight and a half for Jokic and Luka Doncic at under 11 and a half in the all-star game as I expect some other players to kind of score, take the ball and take the initiative. So to recap, my favorite bets for all-star weekend are Mac McClung to win the dunk contest, Lori Markkinen to make the three-point contest finals and to win the three-point contest, the Western Conference on the money line, and then Jokic under eight and a half points and Luka Doncic under 11 and a half points. Best of luck on your wagers. Enjoy the all-star festivities and have a great weekend.